So we had a shooting incident that took place that was right behind me at Avenue Boulevard and McDowell Road. Uh, there are multiple victims that were involved and they were transported to local area hospitals. We do not know the conditions of those uh, victims at this time. We have one suspect who has been uh, detained. He's in custody. There are no other suspects that are involved or believed to be involved with this, so it's just the one suspect. And uh, it's going to take a little while to process the scene due to how many victims and the, the, the length of the crime scene, how big it is right now, how long it's going to take to gather up more information. Uh, it took place this afternoon. Uh, that was, sorry, I think that, what time was that? I can verify that really quick if you want me to. I don't have the exact time. Okay. All right. Sorry. So uh, this incident took place this afternoon sometime between 1 and 2 p.m. Uh, it was on the road. There were drivers involved. It wasn't like somebody out on the road with a gun. He was in a vehicle as well. Um, but we don't know what exactly had taken place after that, like it, how he was involved with anybody who was involved in this shooting. Are we looking at this as a possible road That we do not know yet. We're still wanting to make sure we get all the details. We have a lot of witnesses on scene. We have camera footage from those intersections that we want to make sure we gather up as much information as possible and verify exactly what the shooter's intent was. So. Um, it's a very large scene, obviously. We saw a lot of the crime scene tape. Near, I believe it's in Canto, we saw a motorcycle as well as another vehicle. Can you speak at this time of their involvement to the situation and the crime? I do know that the vehicles at Encanto are involved, are involved as well, um, but I do not know exactly what took place at that intersection quite yet. I just know that it definitely can It's. ears just popped on that one. Sorry, the, the crime scene is very large. It's uh, at the 10 here at Avenue Boulevard and goes all the way up to Encanto. So that's why we are going to take a little bit of time to make sure we gather up as much as we can about what happened. Any idea on how many victims? No, we don't have that information yet. And, and kind of piggybacking off of that, you said multiple. Are we talking more in the ballpark of three or something even like 10 or more victims at this uh, more than two victims are definitely involved. I don't know the max on that yet, uh, just because some vehicles, they had other people in their car. So um, so I'm trying to get that information for you. Do we know how serious these injuries are? We don't know how serious the conditions are yet. We just know that they were all transferred to, hos transferred to hospitals, yeah. Can you release a name on the suspect yet? We don't have the name of the suspect yet. We're still waiting to confirm that he is the actual suspect and make sure that we confirm his identity. As we all know, traffic obviously has been very interesting this afternoon. Um, how long do you guys expect um, Avondale Boulevard to be closed off? Right, so yeah, we have multiple road closures right now. So it's going to be from Avondale Boulevard on Al Avondale Boulevard, excuse me, from Encanto all the way to the 10 is closed. The freeway on ramps and off ramps on the 10 are going to be closed at Avondale Boulevard as well. And then at McDowell Road, you're going to have a closure from 111th all the way to Avenue Boulevard. For how long? Uh, sorry, the road closures will probably be there probably until 9 or 10 tonight. Can you speak to uh, the age of the victim, gender at this time? No, I don't have any other information about the victims right now. Were they shot or were they involved in like some of the, the car crash? What did that look like? Uh, some of the victims, it, it might have been from the vehicle collisions that took place, because I know multiple vehicles had collided at some point during this uh, incident that was going on. Some of them had been shot, so it's it's kind of a mixture between shooting and collision related. Can you speak to when you have a situation like this, uh, just the amount of work it takes to process the scene, uh, just the amount of resources needed just to uh, get everything that you need? Yeah, well, we have our command van out, which that's a huge help for our detectives on scene so they can use that as their mobile post and office to gather up information and interview all the, the witnesses that we have. Um, so 
that that's also helpful for them with the cameras that we can utilize, get access to the video recordings from these uh, intersections and make sure we get as much information as we can. We also use drone footage to assess the, the scene and also if there were collisions that took place, they can uh, reconstruct the scene and go from there. He is in custody, so yes, he is he is arrested. So um, that person is in our custody right now, and making sure we get all the information from him. But not booked currently on charges. Not booked yet. Okay. That is still pending. Can you talk again about how the shooter was involved? Was he in a car driving by, or was he like on the corner? He was in a vehicle. Yeah. So the suspect was in a vehicle, um, and. So we're trying to gather up more information about exactly why he started shooting in the first place. Were there any other departments that were helping kind of investigate the entire scene because of how big it is? No, because this took place in Avondale on Avondale jurisdiction, Avondale police will be the ones leading the investigation. We do have other agencies assisting with road closures right now and we thank them for that. I don't have that information yet, I'm sorry. Okay. You're not going to give another in-person update, you'll release it through the email, is that how you're going to do it? No, I'm going to stay here on scene, um, so I'll stay here up until probably 9 or 10 tonight and we'll we'll do another release at that time. Okay. Anything else? Nothing else to add right now. Thank you. Okay, thank you.